because that was so much cooler when I planned it out. All right, guys, real quick. So I'm just gonna go over some of the settings and equipment that I had used in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic film. I know it was a little heavy, a little emotional. So that entire film was filmed on the Canon 90D as well as a couple of different lenses. Let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what that looks like. <laughs> As you see, I got my Canon 90D with the foldable screen out, which is just so helpful for vlogging type stuff. This is uh, one of the lenses that I had used in my video, which was the 17 to 70 millimeter. Canon 50 millimeter is such a beast and I had so much fun filming some of those really close up videos that allowed me to get those beautiful blurry backgrounds as well. I'm gonna put all of the product links in the description which are there for you guys to check out. These are affiliate links. So I would get a small commission on those which would be sick. <laughs> Another bit of really epic equipment that I had used in this video was my DJI Ronin S. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. That's just the stabilizing gimbal that I had used in some of those really smooth following shots. The possibilities are endless with this guy. As far as some of the settings go, I did have one of Canon's standard color profiles set onto my camera, which you hardly even need to grade at times because the footage that comes out of the Canon camera's colors on it are just unbeatable. If you are gonna be shooting a lot of cinematic films, I would recommend for you to go online and download CineStyle. I'll drop a link for that in the description. That's just a color profile that you could add to your camera. It gives you a very flat and neutral image, but it's very good for that high dynamic range, meaning that all of that overexposed and all of the dark parts of the image would be exposed properly. The Canon 90D does shoot in 24 frames per second, but I had shot this film in 25, and I know I'm gonna get a bunch of filming experts on me that abide by 24, which I'm kinda worried about. I'd love to give you guys a bit more technical details, but if I did, I'd probably get them wrong. <laughs> if you guys love shooting slow-mo, which, you know, who doesn't? Slow-mo just looks real epic. You could get those really slow moving shots of a faster subject, which, you know, just looks real epic overall. Drop a comment in the description and tell me about your experience with the Canon 90D as well as some of Canon's other cameras in comparison. So me and my girlfriend are currently stuck in the Fiji Islands and we did have some future plans in mind. Hopefully they let us out of the country, but flights are super limited and it is insanely hard with the country being totally closed down. If you guys did want to keep updated on any future travel plans and films, definitely hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on any future content.